Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're here in Illinois, frosty, cold, freezing cold Illinois. And today we're gonna talk about is macro environmental factors focusing on the natural environment. Because this is one of those macro factors these are factors that are out of your company's control. You know, you just kind of adjust to the weather. I can't control the weather. I just have to deal with it. And it's a little too cold right now for a t-shirt. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is I'm gonna put a jacket on. And that's the thing is companies have to look at that too. What is the physical weather that we're gonna have to deal with in the place we're looking to do business? So if I'm Domino's, don't I need to see what the uh, weather is gonna be tonight? Because if I know, oh, there's gonna be a lot of rain or there's gonna be a lot of snow, one, people probably are not gonna go out to eat, right? So they're gonna order more. Ah, so that might have more influence on me, right? But I can't control the weather. I just had to adjust to it. So you have to think about those things. Another thing you might look at in terms of physical weather, you know, if you think about the physical environment, here in Illinois, there, there's no beach, so I'm not going to put a beach shop. You're not going to see an uh, Ocean Pacific store or, or a, you know, a, a Billabong store or something like that because you're not going surfing here, okay? So you're kind of thinking about those things. And the thing is, you're going to look at all kinds of natural phenomenons in this natural environment. Earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, these kind of things are really going to influence your business. Because think about it, if you're in tourism in the Caribbean, you know that hurricane season is July to November. So you're going to have to make sure that you have, you know, contingency plans if a, if a hurricane comes through. What do I do with the tourists if it hits while tourists are here? These kind of things, we have to plan around that. Whereas uh, if you're up here in the Midwest, they have to think about the winter weather, don't they? Because if we're a factory, we have to make sure we get our shipments in and out. And if there could be big snowstorms, well, that could influence as well. That's why some companies have moved their production to the southern part of the U.S. because the weather is better, more you know, consistent, and the roads are always open. They're not iced over. That's going to influence things. If you're looking at earthquakes and tsunamis and stuff like that, do I put my nuclear plant over an earthquake fault? Of course not. You don't want to do those kind of things. And so you have to think about that. And the thing is, though, it's not just kind of the, the physical environment you're looking at. You also might look at just pollution levels in general. How is that going to influence you. Now you may ask, Mark, why, why are you standing in a cornfield or, or whatever field this is? Well, think about organic farming. For them, pollution levels are very important. That land behind me has got to be fertile. It's got to be good to plant it. It cannot have any waste materials that run over on that. Otherwise, I don't have organic peas and corn and soybeans and stuff like that. And so those pollution levels can influence where you're going to plant, what you can plant and things like that. So you can get organic certified. On the other side of things, if you look at your favorite YouTubers, pollution levels could influence them. I know for me, a few years ago I was filming and there was a lot of pollution where we were filming, like so much pollution that it sounded like I was packing a <laughs> it sounded like I was smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. I've never smoked, just letting you know. But it was crazy because I'm like, oh my God, how are you doing today? I'm like, mm, drink some water. And what usually take me five minutes to film a video was taking me 10. Well, what does that mean? Well, if I'm going to be going back there, I'm not going to try to film 20 videos. I'm going to try to film 10 videos because I can't get as much done. So maybe I don't film there. And so you have to think about these kind of things. Other thing you might look at in terms of the natural environment, increased government regulation. Think about the EPA in the US and Europe. They have their own environmental regulations. How can we adjust for them? What do we need to change for that? And what you see, unfortunately, is some companies will leave the country to go to a place that has low regulations for the environment and so you see that and so you can see that influence out there and of course if we look at it in general if you look at how kind of a social change and the natural environment kind of come across we might look at the increased importance of sustainability I mean think about it how can we cut our waste what can we do to have le less, you know, leftover product? If, you, if you're an old person watching this, you might remember buying a CD, which now comes in a jewel case like this. They used to come in a long box like this, right? And you're like, wow, that's a lot of extra waste. What can we do to cut that out? What can we do to eliminate that? That can influence you as well. And we might be looking at this, how can we reuse some of our waste products? Maybe we can turn it in to something else. So if we're making our car, right? We have this extra steel left over. Is there something else we can make with that steel? Okay, so you were trying to figure out different ways that we could really be more sustainable as a business because the natural environment really is a big influence on businesses in a positive way and also in a negative way in terms of what we have to deal with and stuff like that. And so firms really need to take that into effect and adjust to it, okay? So I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about the macro effect of the natural environment on businesses. If you want some more, there's a bunch of other macroeconomic effects that you can watch. Bye.